said, I got a question for you. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Hey, what's up, guys? So I know today is the first day of summer, so I'm trying to vlog, but something a little bit different than school or work or the gym. Kind of show you actually like what I do for fun, I guess. So I got a fishing pole this past winter, new one, because my old one, I already threw it out. My old, it was actually my first fishing pole. This piece, the top eye, broke off, so the cast will never go as far. So I got this new pole from Cabela's, nice ugly stick. So uh, got some line in here, need a new tackle box, because this the little latch thing broke. Doesn't say shut, see, you pick it up. That's a problem. So, kind of look at this. I have no idea how long this has been in here. But, if you ever want to measure a fish with this smiley face ruler, you can only catch up to a six inch fish. So, uh, I'm going to buy a new tackle box and look at what I have in here. What I need to get for this upcoming summer fishing season. And then, uh, we're going to tie this, re reline this. I guess I don't even know if that's like the right fishing term word, relining. But uh, I'm probably gonna make this a separate vlog because I said the last one would be the last one. And then I gotta get this tuned up and sighted for deer hunting season because um I'm getting a deer this winter or this fall for hell or high water. I may open, I probably will open this upside down. I never remember which way is the right side up, which way is the right side down. That doesn't make sense, but that's okay, because it's strapped in, so we'll see. I opened it the right side. For YouTube, I opened it the right way. So, this is my bow for deer hunting. I need to get some more arrows, lost one, and then this camera is awful at zooming in. This one, this, this arrow right here, I can't get this field tip off, so I have two broadheads. I only have three arrows left. I'm stuck at aiming and I'm missing arrows. So I, I'm missing one arrow when I first bought this. And I need to sight it for the season. I need to get some practice arrow. I take it and get it tuned for the summer. So don't use a crossbow. It's cheating. It's a gun with an arrow. Just kidding. That's my opinion. You can have your own opinion. I don't care. It's better than sitting at home, I guess. Hunting's hunting, right? Alright, you guys. We got step one complete. We have, I don't even know if you can see this on YouTube, fishing line right here in my hands. And it is all the way loaded through each eye. You can check with me. Each eye has line through it. And there's that. It's a little, little slack because it's not, I got to tie the, tie the ends on. And then uh, this is what I used. 8 pound test. Obviously, I'm not a professional fisherman. Just good solid brand. 8 pounds. I mean, not really going to be catching anything huge. So, uh, we will tie tie the ends up for the lures. If I find the end, help me find the end. Damn it. And my line just fell. Alright, guys, what's up? So, we did get the line on the line on. Line's on. The hook is on. Just put a simple hook. I'm in the backyard. I'm going to cast it real quick. So you gotta probably wrap it around a little bit. I gotta do this after YouTube because it's hard to look where I'm putting the camera and un unwrap this line because I didn't hook the I didn't hook the hook through one of these eyes to keep it from getting tangled up here, even though I can't tell. But I'm going to do a practice cast in the backyard, actually a couple, and see how how it uh how it works, if it, blah, blah, not how it works, I know how it works, if it works. So, uh. Probably, probably shouldn't be out here in my socks, because the grass just got mowed, and they're going to be green. Shh, don't tell mom. Dang it. I can go too far, so I don't feel like throwing it in the woods. 
I just want to see, hopefully everything's set up right. Because, as you can tell from the sun, it's summer. And I have no school. You got the big one, mate. Oh. Crikey, mate. Look at the guy. Just kidding, there's nothing on the end of the line. Just doing some, making sure I did the right job, you know? Make sure I did it right. So I actually go fishing. Nothing bad happened. One more. I'm having too much fun. So excited. There's no tangles around the spool. Granted, there's no weight on the end of the line. And I'm throwing it that far because I don't want to go into the woods. Off the tree. I think it's summertime. That one went into the woods. Oh, I snagged a tree with this going into the woods. I said I'm not going to go into the woods. What the hell did I do? I put it in the woods. Alrighty, so the line works. Like I said, I'm done. Put it in the tree. I got it out. It's out. Didn't have to cut the line, I got it out of the tree, but I did do what I said I was gonna do, and, oh, grass, bottom of my socks. Probably just gonna throw these down the chute, because mom won't be too thrilled if I walk in the house with grass clipping. Alrighty guys, time for some errands. We are going to <clears throat> get gas. We are going to go to O'Reilly's, get oil. We are going to wash my truck for the first time in God knows how long. Besides all the nature washing in the rain. We are going to the library to pick up some books on CD. When I listen, I drive for an hour to work next week. And, sorry, turn that down. And then we are going to, I forget where I saw all I'm going. Rite Aid to pick up my script, and I think that's it. Yes, you got me in the palm of your don't Gas is pretty darn cheap. I don't even know if you can hear me. Filling her up. It's such a gorgeous day. This is where I used to work, actually. This is where I got really fat. Old That's where I got really fat, and then other camera's blurry. That's okay, that's where I got fat. That's the old DQ, it's closed now. It made me fat. Actually, I made myself fat, because I ate burgers and blizzards five times a week, if not more. It tasted good, it just didn't make me look good. All right, now we are headed into Rite Aid to get my script filled. So, uh, or not filled, it's already here, pick it up. So, uh, Rite Aid. We got the script. Maybe I should uh, pick up a hair dryer, work on my Steve Cook like hair. I haven't quite gotten over the quite gotten over the vlogging in public thing. It's still uh, kind of awkward. Not gonna lie, it's kind of weird holding the camera as you walk walk through the store. I give um, it's on the toolbox. It's probably gonna fall over. Mad props to. Um, people that can do it really well and make it look really natural because it's a lot harder than it looks now that I've tried it. It gets, um, like I just got a weird look from an old man when I was checking out the hair dryers. Looking at it like, what the hell are you doing, kid? So, uh, definitely something you gotta get used to after a while. Maybe I will eventually. It's kind of why I don't vlog around campus because, yeah, lack of self-confidence to, uh, right now hold a camera in front of my face as I walk around, so... But uh, we'll maybe get there someday. <laughs> Trying to get used to it, so. Uh. All right, we are at O'Reilly's. Gonna find an oil filter, PH39. If you guys spot it, let me know. PH3980. PH3980. This could be a while. PH3980. Found it. Now, to get some oil. And I'm rotating the camera around. Oil. Pens oil. 
This is where we're good. We're about to take the infamous Talmadge Circle. This is how you know from this town when you can drive this properly. Uh, it's one way, it's a circle, and I have to get on it, so I have to turn the camera around. But there's eight roads that come together in this circle. It used to be a square, but people drove over the edges. Corvette, you can't even see it. You couldn't even see the Corvette, because I had to get on the circle. But... Just drove by the library, it doesn't open till noon, so we will come back later when I go to the chiropractor. So we're going to go wash my truck for the first time in probably almost a year. Besides the rain, it could use it. So uh, let's go to that, and if anybody wants to come help dry, let me know, because I could use the help. There's the gym, the doors are open, so you know it's summer when the gym doors are open, if I can catch it. The gym doors are open. So that's when you know it's summer, when the gym doors get opened up. All right, so number one rule, washing your car. Roll up the windows. Up this one, I have to help with my hand. The driver's side window is broken, so I have to do it by hand. And then uh, turn this off. Don't lock your doors, because leave the keys in it. And then, uh, this is, this is before. It's not really that dirty, it's just, you know, we got, like, this rusty stuff. Rusty. I don't really care that much, but I'm trying to save it for as long as I can. Because I like it. So, uh, let's wash it. This is before. It's not really that dirty. I mean, there's, like, mud and stuff on the sides. Just from doing dumb, dumb stuff. Because that's what you do when you have a truck. You do dumb stuff. So, uh, let's clean this up. Soapy truck. This is like mid-workout. Soapy. Alright, so it's clean. We gotta dry it off real quick. And then, uh, never ever use this. It's worthless. It's a waste of money. And you'll pay way longer. Bring towels and dry it. And always keep your change. Because it comes in handy for things like this. And then, car wash tip. Learned from when I worked for a lady that had show cars and she had not washing. Or a guy. I mean, he had some old Mustangs. You wash top down and you dry windows first so the towels get wet. And then, and then, you do the bottom so you don't scratch it. So, uh, okay. So, alright, so the truck is cleaned up. It's clean, dry. Watch out, don't walk and hit that with your shins. Anybody that's ever done that, you know this hurts like hell. It hurts. Like hell to walk into a hitch with your shins. So, actually, that's done. I'm gonna go to Walmart and get the girlfriend flowers because she's on finals. And I'm gonna bring the camera with me because I just talked about lacking the self confidence to do it. So I'm gonna bring the camera in and do it. Heart's pounding faster than a mother trucker right now. Because, I don't know, just kinda gotta get over that. So, uh, like the gym when you get a heavy squat, fuck your excuses and just do it. Alrighty guys, we are at the Walmart. I was just here this morning shopping for groceries. Maybe I'll make a separate vlog of that. Um, but we are here, so I'm going to film walking into Walmart to get, it's freaking hot out. To get these flowers, so uh. That, I'm kind of nervous, so let's, let's walk in. Walk in the parking lot right now. I have no idea what the hours are getting. I suck at this. So, let's see. I don't know what to get. There's too many choices. She likes yellow. Yellow flowers. So, uh, easy checkout. 
20 of them to work. Alright, that wasn't, wasn't as bad as uh, I thought it was going to be. That was a lot easier. So, um, I don't know if you can really hear me. I kind of talk kind of quietly. I guess I should uh, just grow a pair and do it. But, um, got the flowers. And, uh, let's go drop these off. Yeah, it wasn't as bad. Maybe that good kind of little little self-confidence boost, you know. It's kind of like getting a PR in the gym, you know. You get a little more comfortable, do something a little more brave, I guess. I don't know. God, look how clean this truck is. It's just so, it's like a show truck now. It's just spotless. Look at that. You can even see, you can see this other car off of it. That's how, that's how clean that is. That's how, that's how clean it is. We did, you guys did a great job. I need to unlock this now. Set the camera down on the truck, leave it on. Hopefully it doesn't fall off, because I will be in deep crap. How are we here? Hopefully she's home, I don't know. Yeah, but take the price tag off. They don't need to know that. It's just the thought that counts. So, that's rule number one of giving, get, giving gifts in general. Either take it off or color it with a Sharpie. Dude, it's so warm out today. It's so freaking warm. So, uh, gonna go ring your doorbell. But, yeah, it's so hot. This black shirt is a dumb idea, but you know, repping the Ohio State Buckeyes, even though I go to Akron. Be very quiet. Maybe she's not even home. Yes, she's not at home. So, uh, never mind. Alrighty, guys, so I just ordered actually some fishing lures online. I didn't have them in store, so I ordered those because. As you noted know earlier in the video, like a few minutes ago, even though it's been a couple hours, the line is tied. We are ready to rip some lips this summer. So, uh, put this out in the garage. Okay, it's hard to do. You almost need like three hands when you, when you vlog. So, I'm going to put this in the garage. Up here. Right here. Ah! rat traps and then uh gonna go drop off the flowers because the girlfriend's home and uh that we did actually speaking of stuff i need to pull out of the freezer the fridge the salmon for tonight's dinner because oh, 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 found it this is not thawed at all, and I need to eat it later. This is about eight ounces ish, roughly, give or take. All right, what's up, guys? We are heading to my little brother's baseball game, so I'm gonna grab what I usually grab before I leave the house. Keys to the truck. Yeah, uh, my addiction of gum. Gum. My wallet. And then grab my phone, let it charge as long as I can. And then we are going to, we're going to stop, put my shoes on, sit down talking. We're going to stop and get sunflower seeds because we're going to watch baseball. And I love sunflower seeds. And I used up all of mine this week studying for finals. So, you know what flavor we're going to get. Actually, I haven't posted that video yet. This video we posted after the other video that references my love of David's sunflower seeds. So we're gonna go get those, and then, of course, Mio. I already used it, this one's, it's almost empty. It's the last tonight, though. All right, sorry guys, didn't bring the camera in when I went to get the sunflower seeds. Um, they did not have, hold on, this car backing out in front of me. I can't make this turn when she's in front of me. And then, uh, ow. This is, I can't hold those in drive, that's a dumb idea. Uh, they only had sizzling bacon, so I never had that for it, because I didn't have David's barbecue. Kind of salty, no pun intended, because some flower seeds are salty. We got, we got a new flavor living on the edge, so we'll go get that and uh, go to this game. Alright, we are made it. Walk it in now. Good 
I want this truck so badly. I, if someone wants to buy that, that'd be cool. Head into Cavs watch party. It's about our hope right now. Besides Ohio State football, Cleveland Cavaliers. Cars of Alrighty guys, so the Cavs lost. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Give a thumbs up. That that brings a close on my uh, vlog, first day of summer.